All right, thank you. Um, Tom Kubinick, President of Secure Tactical. Today we're introducing cradle grid technology or intelligent firearm storage to the commercial sport shooting community. I'm gonna talk a little bit about our history, our military heritage, um, the product application, how it works, show you some applications and give you a vision for where we wanna take the company. Now, I'm gonna start in late 90s. The military moved from a traditional battle rifle, an M16 II, I don't know if I have one here, an M4, which is a modular weapon system. It's av available in multi-form factors, different barrel lengths, different stocks, a lot of different attachments. The military quickly realized at that point that storage wasn't going to work as it had. In the past, you had M16s were an M16 rack. Uh, you had a Mark 19 is a Mark 19 rack. Each weapon system, each weapon had its own rack. They knew it wouldn't work. Several companies stepped up to that challenge and created what we call the bracket racks. You create a modular cabinet with a back panel that accepts brackets. So the military buys one rack, one cabinet, can put anything in it. All you do is get the right bracket for that piece. Now, about 2001, I was running Greenline Data, which was a data storage physical security company, saw the weapon rack opportunity. We became an importer and helped with the development of a system out of Canada. We became the largest importer. Now, most of our competitors, all of them, uh, were focused on selling weapon racks, selling weapon racks to the military. We took a little bit different view. We looked at it as a, a bigger, as the room. We focused on design. Where they were selling by our rack, we were going and saying, what do you do here? And we looked at the system of not just weapon storage, maintenance, gear storage. What is the workflow? What's happening in the room? And that's how we became successful in this, in this business. And over the next four or five years, we became the experts on weapon storage. Or an, an armory design. Now about 2006, the bracket rack system, the problems with that system were coming to a head. The challenge with that system is when you install it, it works perfectly. The minute you change a gun, things start changing, you gotta get new brackets. If you've ever been in the military and you wanna buy something, make do with what you have. It's very difficult to buy, especially small parts. So these systems were installed, they worked. The military is very dynamic, very fluid. Things start changing. By 2006, US Army Special Forces, was fa they were failing inspections of their arms rooms, our most elite fighting force. They're failing their inspections. They issued a solicitation for an arms room assessment program. We won the contract. I think we probably were the only qualified bidder. For the next 12 months, we traveled to every single Special Forces armory surveyed the space, we sat with the armors, interviewed them, watched the workflow. We had unprecedented access to these rooms. These are rooms that nobody gets into, and we spent days with these people. Our mission was to report back to command what's wrong and make recommendations as to how do we fix it. The problem was complexity, very simply. It was complex systems. The bracket racks, one of them has 40 different brackets, the other one had 280 different brackets. Each bracket has to be screwed in. It just wasn't happening, it wasn't working. We took what we, what we had learned through all that. Do I have a saddle here? We designed and patented the tactical weapon storage platform. This one piece holds every single weapon in a SOCOM armory. I've got, from M4s to Mark 19s, I've got 50s, belt-fed machine guns. It'll do shoulder launch systems, it'll do Carl Gustafs, all with one piece. It adjusts on the fly, no tools. Gear storage, we took a different approach. All of our competitors are proprietary, meaning you gotta buy it all from them. We use the term Home Depot development. Our system is compatible with almost everything down the storage aisle of Home Depot. For the warfighter, they deploy, they've got our system, they can source material almost anywhere in the world. So we've we changed the way the military thinks about weapon storage. Moving forward to today, we are the largest supplier of weapon racks to the military. They think about things differently now. They have capabilities that they didn't have before. Tenth group at Fort Carson calls us the Lego rack. Fifth group down at Fort Campbell calls us the Tetris rack. They start at the bottom and they just build. We don't supply a rack, we supply a tool. It allows them to build a rack. Legos is a popular toy because it's not a toy. It's a tool, your kids build the toy. It's the same, same concept. Simplicity, always real. I mean, if you keep, I'll jump sideways here a little bit. If you keep a toolbox in your boat or your RV or junk drawer in the kitchen, what do you keep in it? 
pair of pliers, screwdriver, duct tape, and a hammer if you really got to fix it. You keep the simplest tools because with those you're going to solve the most problems. So let's talk about the, uh, the civilian, the sport shooting community. There's been a broad shift in gun buying behavior. Every, the number one gun in America is now the modern sporting rifle. AR-15 is kind of a bad word. If you look at the actual buying, it's tracked what the military went through 10 years later. Civilians are doing the same thing. Old traditional rifles are being upgraded with modern optics. How many people hunt with iron sights anymore? They've got a red dot on every shot, and they've got a scope on every rifle. And you look at storage. Gun storage in America has not changed in 100 years. Look around. If you walk around this, this whole show and look at all the safe and cabinet companies, the doors are closed. The doors are closed in every single one of them for a reason. There's nothing there. There's nothing new. Every year, these guys roll out their latest and greatest. What are they showing you? New paint, new color, maybe a new lock. I saw one that had a roof rack bolted up on top. It was tactical. But gun storage hasn't changed. They treat guns like brooms in a closet. They focus on the door. They focus on the lock. But inside that, those guns are no different than your brooms in your closet. And we want to change the way the civilian buyer thinks about weapon storage the same way we did with the military. We're going to say respect for a firearm does not end when you close the door. You can quote me on that one. Respect for your firearm does not end when you close the door. So we are bringing cradle grid technology to the consumer market. What the system does in the consumer market, it gives you proper standoff. Now, pretty big gun, pretty big optic. We store this. A couple things going on. You've got enough room so the scope is free and clear. The scope is on the inside. In a gun cabinet, if you're putting some on a shelf, you drop something, you're never going to hit a scope. You're never going to lose zero. You've got enough spacing for lights, any kind of attachment on the firearm. You've got adjustability so this rifle has a floating barrel. If I've got a precision rifle with a floating barrel, I want to adjust that saddle on the foregrip. I'm not going to rest it on the barrel. And you've got straight line access to all your firearms. What does that mean? You open the door, one arm, one gun. You're not taking stuff out, laying it on the floor. Organizational awareness. When you open up a cabinet with our system, you know right away. If something's missing, something's out of place, you know it. Boom. It's a blink of an eye. You've got the ability. Now, this is something the consumer has not had the ability to enjoy, we'll say, is storage. The ability to organize and store gear with firearms we're going to bring to the market it doesn't exist now, not like it should. With our bin system, you've got the ability, if I've got a shotgun, I have the shotgun, all the chokes are right behind it. I take all my cleaning products, all my odd caliber, I store those right behind the gun because that's where I need them. I take my really, I've got a couple unusual caliber rifles, that ammo stays with the gun. I take all my cleaning products at home, I keep them in bins. If you've ever spilled a bottle of hoppies or had it tip over, it smells great, but it makes a hell of a mess. <laughs> Uh, keeping everything in a bin keeps all your messes contained. So you have, you have the ability to not just properly store weapons, but to organize all of the gear. And American shooter gear buying is probably out accelerating gun buying. It's, it's something new for the civilian. Market. Look around how many people are selling attachments and components and things and parts that go with guns. Now I'm going to walk this way. Now, we've taken this system. This is our home armory system. allows you to build a custom arm room, and we break that down into small package units to upgrade safes and cabinets. There's, we estimate 22 million safes and cabinets in America, all of which treat guns like brooms in a closet. We're going to give you their simple, affordable, easy-to-install kits to bring those old, dated products into a modern, a modern standard. For the store owner, it's a great sell, it's an easy sell, it's a high margin sell. Now I want to talk, this is our Model 52. This is a prototype, it's an all welded 14 gauge cabinet, meets all military standards. Right next to it is an identical cabinet, however, it's patent pending, this ships flat, it assembles with eight screws, 
We have a video of the girls putting it together. It takes them about seven minutes. This will ship flat. It can be UPS. So for this, a store can bring them in in large quantities affordably. The consumer can walk out of this, put it in this compact car, take it home, assemble it in about 10, 15 minutes. He's got proper storage for six firearms. He can, if he wants to move, he can disassemble it, pack it up, and move it. The cinch lock system that we use in this cabinet, it is as rigid as a welded cabinet. Now, this is a challenge we're going to have to educate the American buyer that you can get a KD cabinet, a knockdown cabinet, that when you put it together, there's, there's nothing different between these in terms of strength, structural integrity. Now, I'm going to talk about the fast box line is a little bit different from our other product line. This product line was developed to address, there's two opposing forces in our industry. There's the fact that we want all firearms locked. In our opinion, locked out of sight. Children do not need to know. They don't need to know what's underneath that bed. You've got that force of safety on the lock the guns up against the force of a guy's foot on your door, front door, knocking it down. You need fast access to a defensive weapon. Now, how many people have a gun safe? They lock everything up, but there's one under the bed. It's not locked. Well, there's one in the drawer. We provide the fast box as, as a solution. It's a fast access, bolts under your bed. It comes with hardware, no screwing, no drilling required bolts to a bed frame. You can take it vertical with a vertical kit. It'll store two rifles, handguns, a little bit of ammunition. It provides safe, secure, very fast access storage. One of the beauties of this product, we've worked very, very hard on this in design, engineering, manufacturing. We've got the retail price down to $269. For this product to be effective, it has to be affordable. People, you know, our goal is to get every single gun locked. Now, where we want to go, what we want to do, we want to do what we did in the military. We changed the way the military operates in armories. We're not that big of a company, but we made a big difference. We want to do the same thing in the civilian market. We want to educate America that, that respect for a firearm doesn't end when you close that door. It's a precision instrument. You go into an engineering firm with precision equipment, they don't pack it in the closet at night. They lose their jobs. Yet people do it with firearms every single day. We want to change the way people think about firearm storage bring them into a modern standard. We've got a line of products that addresses all these needs. And we want every American to, who owns a firearm to adopt the idea that it needs to be locked out of sight. Children don't need to know. Until they're old enough to be trained, they don't even need to know it's there. So Tom Kovenick, President of Secure Attack Field. This is cr Cradle Grid Technology. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Tom. Good job. All right. I missed the first four <laughs> minutes. Can you go back over?